Okay, so Amazon AIM is basically their um, authentication uh, management um, portion of AWS. Uh, and what it stands for is um, Identity and Access Management. And uh, you can run a Google um, and kind of, you know, to learn more information about it. But today, I'm going to show you how to create a uh, sub um, account within your master Amazon AWS account. Um, so basically, where you want to go is you want to um, hit the little uh, services um, button up here. And then uh, over here, it shows AIM over here, but that's because I um, was just there. So I think it's the, the recent um, uh, places that you've uh, gone. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to type in here and I can just click into here. And uh, basically what you want to do is you want to create a user. So um, once you create a user, um, then for example, um, test, then you can choose to grant it um, API access or console access. So in um, cases where you want them to just log into, uh, for example, if you wanted to use uh, maybe like Poly or one of these um, uh, programs over here where it doesn't necessarily require a API access, um, then the console would be perfect. Um, or if they do need API access, then you can use the uh, top one. Um, so after you've selected which access type they have, you can uh, create a password or, or not. Um, and, you know, next. And then over here, it's really important because you need to uh, attach a policy to it for the permissions. Um, and basically, you can copy from existing users or you can um, kind of go through all the different policies. If you want to grant like full admin access, you can choose that, although I would highly discourage it. Um, I would suggest only give access to the tools that, um, you know, that person needs. Um, so after that, uh, then you would just create the user. Now I'm going to show you um, if you create a user with um, with a uh, um, console access, then this is uh, where they would go. So after you attach the policy, uh, you know, um, whichever policy to them, then you click on uh, create user. And this is very important. Copy this URL because this is going to be the URL that they will uh, sign into. Um, so keep in mind that this is not the main um, root login. So for this login, uh, basically, it includes your root account um, account number, and then it's like the username and password that you've created. So this again, this is not to be confused with the main um, the main login. So if you're giving access to um, to a sub user, this is basically the way that you you would uh, do it. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you have like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel.